Well, today I have another unboxing. And this is part of the summer sale. I've gone overboard. Um, I bought a Rogue, a Ruby for me, a Ruby for my sister, a keychain, and now this box. So it's pretty crazy, I say. I don't undo this. Um, this is a bag that I've been, you know, looking at. And I actually saw it at Dillard's and it caught my eye. And I like the color. So I decided uh, I'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, it was 50% off and another 10% off with Rakuten. The handbag housewife um, actually had a review on her YouTube channel and it was the papaya color. And it was beautiful, and then she got this color too. So she kind of pushed me over the edge. I'll put her link in my uh, description box there so that you can see her video of the two uh, tally bags that she unboxed. And she's got a great channel, so do join her. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I didn't ask for gift boxing or gift wrapping, so it's just in the bag. And here she is. And they really do a nice job, I have to say, you know, with the pillow on either side to keep it from sliding around. Okay, it's got to move this out of the way. Of course, I have, uh, you know, the thank you card and then also the receipt. Okay, let's go ahead and see what she looks like. Ooh, I see wrapping already. So let's hope she's factory wrapped and in really good condition. That would be awesome. Oh, look at her. Oh, pretty color. I am a fan of orange. I love yellow. Um, that's why I got so many papaya bags this time around. Um, but this is a really pretty. It is an orange. Actually, it looks more orange to me, even in real life. I've got a ring light that probably shows it pretty true to color, I think. But... Um, Oh yeah, it's really pretty. And the smooth leather is so nice. Look at that. Very pretty. Okay, so let's see here. Here's the tag. And I'll insert probably a closer or a better picture here. So you can see that. Uh, it was originally $3.95, and like I said, I got a good discount um, through their summer sale and then also uh, through Rakuten. Okay, so it's factory wrap, this is great. When you get bags through retail, they tend to take off the plastic. If you get retail bags through the outlet, if you're lucky, you get the plastic wrap and of course all the fixings with it. So this is really, really pretty. Okay, so this bag has two straps. There is a web strap and then a leather strap. Now, I know this comes with the pink strap, but I'm not real, real keen on that color. So I will probably be using the leather strap. I'll just cut the little ties off of there. Okay, so this is the leather strap right here. Let me show you. Oh no, this is the web strap. That's interesting. Hmm. It doesn't look so bad in person, actually. I kind of like it. All right, and then I'm going to show you another strap that I have off of my field tote that I think might work good on here too. But this has got the leather that matches. It's pink and it's got kind of a wine color and a little red there with the pink background. Very interesting. Okay, I always check the clips, make sure that they work. I'll check this side over here. And then we'll move on to the leather strap. <laughs> Yep, that works good. Brass hardware, very pretty. All right, now for the leather strap. Now, there's a couple things I like about this particular strap. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. This is very much like my um, tabby shoulder bag that I have. The leather strap is folded over, so it's not glazed on the edges. This is my favorite kind of strap. Plus, it has grommets, which is really nice. This is a little buckly right here. It's not the best condition. Interesting. The other side is actually better than this side. I don't know whether I could swap it. I might be able to flip it over. 
Let's see how that side actually looks better than that side. That side doesn't look very good. It's very wrinkly. Okay, so anyway, it's got grommets. It has one, two, three, four, five holes that you can adjust. And uh, the clips on here are a little bit smaller than the web strap. They don't actually match in size. So this is the web strap here. This is the leather one. And you can see, can you see that? There's a size difference. I'll pull that down. There is a size difference between the two. Okay, let's get into the bag itself. So um, looking at the bag, here, let me go ahead and take this off so we can see the buckle. Uh, doing a cursory look at the leather, it looks nice and smooth. I don't know how well this particular leather scratches. Um, hopefully not too bad. But let's take a uh, look at this. So we've got the front C for, usually it's a tabby. <laughs> I've got quite a few of those. And it's a magnetic closure which I like, not the ones that you have to try to find its way in. And then it also has a zipper, so we'll give that a try too. But let's take a look at her. So far, she's looks good. There's a couple minor dents in the back. I don't even know whether you can see that or not. This leather will probably crinkle with use. We'll see that. And then there's feet on the bottom. I don't see any wear tear there. Um, I'm very concerned about stitching lately since my rubies and the rogues had weird stitching problems. This one looks really nice so I don't see any stitching issues with this. Okay, um, it's got the little little tag here. Front and back is that orange red color. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and take out the stuffing so you can see the inside. Okay, so the inside is microfiber, and it's kind of a goldish brown color. It only has one snap pocket in the back side. There's nothing on the front, on, or on the back, I should say. On the front side, there's a snap pocket. There. She smells divine. Very, very nice. So that's good. Let's see how the zipper works. So I'm not sure that's nice. Now, as far as the size, uh, the zipper seems to be very nice and smooth. And she does open really wide, which is nice. Um, the size is really nice. This is a kind of a, well, it's a medium-sized bag. It's not real big. And that's my favorite actual size of these bags. I like them when they're not too big. You can leave the zipper open if you just want to, you know, have quick access. You don't have to uh, close it. And you can see that this is kind of buckled here a little bit. That's just the natural way things are going to be. And I know it looks like it's going to start creasing over time, and I'll have to be good with that. Okay, so let me show you. I've got this papaya uh, bag. This is the papaya uh, field tote in 22. And do you see this web strapping? I think that's going to look really nice on there. So we're going to go ahead and take it off my field tote for now. And it's interesting how their straps or web straps really don't completely match. Like this is kind of a, I'd say, wine color on black with the uh, teak leather. That part matches the field tote. Okay, so this is on the field tote. It's got brass hardware, so it matches. And I think that looks really nice. What do you think? It's kind of a nice uh, nice shade. I think it goes well there. I actually like it better than, it, than this bug strap here. See the difference? This one is actually thicker, the one that comes with, uh, with the tally. But... This one is comfortable and super soft. So anyway, that is a look at the two together. And as far as uh, fitting all my essentials in here, I'll just do a quick what fits in the bag here. So I'll things like this. And one of the things I love about this field tote is it's great for in the car. I just plop it in the seat beside me and I can just reach in. I don't actually use a snap because it doesn't snap real well. 
but it's an open hole and I like to be able to grab things. So I've got my sunglasses. I have this cute little slim wallet, which I may have a video coming up with a new one. This is apple red. You see the difference in color there. And here's my six ring key case from the outlet that I've used over the last couple years. And here's the mask. And I think I have yep, tissue. Wet ones. And some, uh, oh, another wet one too. I'll just leave that one in there. Okay, so let's see how this fits. So the first thing I'll do is I'll put my wristlet, and this wristlet carries all my other stuff, miscellany stuff I don't want roaming around in my bag. This is a retail um, back uh, wristlet here, and the leather is so nice and soft. It's like that soft pebble leather. I love it, and it goes with my Rambler. I got a red apple Rambler too. So I'll just stick this in the back. This is a very slim, nice, small wallet, so it's easily gonna fit, along with my keys. Here's my sunglasses and a microfiber pouch so that, or a, it's not microfiber, and a little pouch so that it's easier to fit in things. And then let's see what fits in the back. The only thing would be my phone. I don't know whether my phone would fit in this pocket or not, maybe not. Okay, I'll put the wet ones and the tissue in the back here so you can see it really fits all my things really nicely. This is a nice fit. Okay, so I would probably just fold that over and I would be on my way. Okay, this is a really beautiful bag. Um, quite pleased with it. My only concern would be for the, the leather maybe creasing over time. It might sag a little bit, but uh, we'll see how that works out. But she's really, really pretty, and I do like, I do like this strap on here. <laughs> uh, let me just real quickly, I'm going to take this off. I'll put on the leather one, the one that actually goes with the tally bag. Okay. And again, this is really, really crinkly. I don't, I don't like that. So I don't know that I can flip it. I don't think I can flip it. It looks okay when, well, it's not really that okay. It's better when it's curved. That's a bad strap, so I don't know. I may have to exchange this. I'll ask some of my friends who actually have uh, this particular bag and see if they have the same issue. So again, it's, it's right here. Do you see that? A little crinkly. Doesn't look good. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and put her on. See how she looks. Okay. So this is with this strap here. And uh, yeah, except for the crinkly bit and uh, the edges aren't real perfect. This looks really nice too. Okay. Well, I think that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I will be bringing you more videos to come. I've got quite a few uh, out there right now. If you haven't seen them, I really appreciate it. Okay, folks, you have a great rest of your day.